This here's Homer the Homesteader with Homer's Hour of some shorter period of time of heart, a heart homestead and honesty. Today I want to talk to you about friendship. I was asking a friend of mine, Jen, what I might do my next subject on the other day, and she suggested friendship. I had to think for a while, because when I thought of friendship, Originally, all I could think of was, I'm willing to do stuff for you, so you's willing to do stuff for me. And that was what I thought friends were. So I did a little research on the internet, and I found out that friendship is a state of being friends. I don't know about you, but I didn't find that very helpful in defining what friendship was. So I went and looked up friends and... Friends, I may not get this exactly, but one of the definitions was someone you know and have a mutual affection for, not typically sexual or family relations. So, that really broadened my horizon what I thought friends were. Now, Homer's the kind of cat that is ready to go as soon as somebody sets him about a task and run off and do something. But that's been part near a month ago. I've been pondering that. And it wasn't until this trip up to Pisa Eden Homestead, I'm actually on my way back to Texas now from there, and I'm at Mall Homesteaders out in her back. But when I saw all the leaves changing colors, I recognized what friendship was to me. And leaves came a good analogy. As you'll see, I'm standing here in front of a little pine tree, evergreens. They have leaves called needles, and all the time, as long as the tree's healthy, you'll see those needles are green. Some friends are like that in our lives. They stay with us the whole time, and you know, throughout our lives, they're always green and fresh in our life, providing us, like the leaves or needles, provide that evergreen tree sustenance and feed and caring and growth for that tree. As you saw at the start of this video, I started out with some leaves in front of me. This tree. It has leaves on it too, it's green, but you can see they're just starting to turn a different color because it's fall. And that made me think sometimes, like friendships, leaves come into our life for a season and then they kind of, something changes, a little bit of weather in your life um, or the length of time that that friendship suits the both of you has passed and those leaves start to go away. And as you can see here in Michigan and many parts of the United States and all of the world, different trees have different reactions to the changing of the seasons. This here's an oak tree. When those leaves turn, they'll actually stay on. They'll turn brown, they'll stay on through the whole winter. And then, so leaves like a friendship, might change and start to wither away, but they'll hang on for a time. That also helps protect the branches, like a friendship in your life, through the harsh winter. And so there's also like the aspens or the poplars, cottonwoods, I don't know if you can see that very well. They kind of turn yellow and the leaves fall off. But all leaves, like most friendships, not only provide us some growth and some nourishments in our lives through them being around, like the help the plant grow, help us grow, but also many of leaves, like some of our friendships, you know, go away and they fall down to the ground. That's why they call autumn fall. And those leaves that are here on the ground, like friendships of our past, also continue to help providing nourishment in this case by becoming soil and feeding the trees or the other plants around 
And the friendships sometimes that go away continue to feed us through the lessons we've learned, the great times, the great memories we've developed. So, I don't know if that makes a whole lot of sense to you, but my analogy and what I've learned about friendships and thinking about this for this here Homer's hour or some shorter period of homestead and heart to heart honesty is that all of the variety and well, I guess I didn't talk about that also as you might notice as we look around here like I said the oak tree has a different way and the poplars and some of these trees still have or bushes still have uh, green leaves that'll soon go away and others have a different color yellow and you got reds and greens and all that you got multiple diverse different colors that was another point i want to make this is what you get when you don't do a script is uh, also looking at the leaves reminded me of the diversity of friendships i've had the number the broad nature of people i've met from different country who spoke different languages than i did who had different colors of their skins who had different backgrounds and so the leaves were also a good analogy for me and friendships and how they add a lot to our lives by broadening our perspectives as well as, as I spoke most of this video, was about nourishing our lives and helping us to grow. So, not sure if that made sense to you, but I certainly am glad that all the friendships in my life have brought diversity Help me to have broader perspectives in life, understand others better, and get along with others better. They've also helped to enrich my life by giving me a lot of different experiences. And even those friendships that have went away in the past continue to help broaden my life and enrich my life through the learning that uh, I learned through being associated from knowing and having a mutual affection for others in my life. Well, wherever you go today, whatever you do, I hope that friendships, you look on a new light in that they're there to not only build something or give something to the other person, which is often what I looked at it as, but also to enrich your life, even if it's not through doing some work or tasks for each other. I hope that you have a great day, and don't forget, like our videos, subscribe using the subscribe button here at Peace of Eden Homestead, and share with your friends, enrich their lives and family. Have a great day.